He has freestyle, so as you can see, my jerk work is almost completed. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it probably like about five more minutes, then it should be completed, guys. Looking nice and lovely. As you can see for yourself, guys, you can smell the seasoning. Kaboom! You know it's Warlord representing for Horain Freestyle Adventures! What am I say? Tell them fix them dentures. Kaboom! Welcome back my viewers and subscribers, welcome back and to all my new subscribers, welcome, heart of love, welcome to the movement, you know what I mean? Now guys, it's Sunday, happy Sunday to y'all, I'm back in the kitchen today guys and it's all about some oven jerk pork, so just come along with me guys while we jerk up some pork, freestyle way. You have it freestyle, have some pork, well washed and nice and sliced, you know what I mean? My spices are right here. So you know, once you go jerk, you have to go spices freestyle, you know what I mean? So right here guys, I have some walkers with jerk seasoning, I have some old spice, all purpose, I have some jerk seasoning, I have some black pepper, I have some pimento green, which is the magic to the jerk, I have some scallion, thyme, scotch bonnet, pepper, so just stick and stay freestyle, or we just season up the jerk and get the jerk going freestyle way. I will now go ahead and start the preparation of my seasoning. As you can see right here, I have some scallion. and spicy so get to the natural seasoning prepped and here you have it guys the seasoning is now prepped So as you can see guys, I have my onion and my scallion. I'm gonna add some thyme and some dry thyme. I'm doing jerk guys, so we need that flavor. I will now go ahead and add some all-purpose seasoning. purpose and after I had the all purpose I'll go ahead and add, and add some jerk seasoning after adding the jerk seasoning freestyle it's now time to add the pimento So freestyle to get the most from the pimento, what I did was put it in a tablecloth and use something to crush it. And I'm, you need to get the full flavor from the pimento. So there you go. It's now powdery. As you can see. See that? Guys, I love the flavor of the pimento spice. So I'll go ahead now and rub everything together. Up. Nice and lovely. I will go ahead and have some more all purpose seasoning on it. You need your meat to be well seasoned. You can see for yourself freestyle. Probably use the next onion. I will also go ahead and have some more of the old spice. I will go ahead now and add some browning guys and I'm using the grace browning add 
some brown. You don't want the meat to be white. You need the meat to have color. I'm just gonna add a small amount of brown in, guys, because if you add too much, it is going to have a bitterish taste. You don't need that. So I add my brown in. Add a small amount. Add some more. Adding your brown in the freestyle, you're gonna rub everything together. The meat will keep that you the color that you're looking for. Now you can smell the spices, everything just everything just combined together and just give it that nice smell. You know what I mean? The onion and the scale and the thyme, the scotch bun, pepper, the spices, the odd purpose. You have it guys so right here guys i have the walkers with jerk seasoning and guys as you can see i'm using the mild because the kids gotta eat it so i'm using the mild so i'll go ahead and add some jerk seasoning walkers with jerk seasoning Put it all over after i'm going to rub everything together Smells of this freestyle and it haven't yet cooked. You can just imagine when this cook guys full of flavor, full of spices. Now freestyle, here you have it. So freestyle, I will now go ahead start the preparation for my rice and peas and guys as you can see guys I'm using the grace dry gungo peas and I'm using two cans I'm going to open them pour them in the pot I don't know guys but for some reason for some reason I think I like the dry gungo more than the red peas my rice and peas. So I'll now go ahead and pour the coconut milk. In. I'm using two cans of coconut milk as well freestyle. And after you had the coconut milk. You want to have some time. Go ahead and wash my time and put it in. In half the time, guys, you're going to have a scotch bar and a pepper. Scotch bar and a pepper, then you want to have some scallion. Get my scallion washed. And guys, as for the scallion, what I'm doing right now is I don't know how to cut my scallion. I know I'm gonna crush it so I get everything from it. Then I'll go ahead and add a few grains of fermented um, in it. Some dry fermented grain in it. Then freestyle, I'll go ahead and add a tablespoon of salt. Then freestyle for the rice and peas. You can also put a small amount of sugar in your rice and peas, not much. I use half teaspoon of sugar. There you have it. Then I will add a small amount of water. the stove for the seasoning to cook then after which I will add the rice to it so just stay tuned freestyle so freestyle I will now go ahead and wash my rice and the rice of choice I'm using guys as you can see is the royal basmati rice 
So I freestyle my rice pot is now well seasoned and my season is well cooked. Now we start to put the rice in. After you put your rice in, freestyle the one stir. The pot guys, I'm now gonna cover it and just allow it to, um, to cook at a lower temperature. So stay tuned. Here freestyle, so it's now time um, to start the preparation of the jerking of the pork. First I'll go ahead and grease my jerking tin. Grease it. Then next thing you wanna do is put the pork in the in the jerking tin guys. As you can see guys the pork is looking really nice and lovely, nice and colorful. So it's now time to put it in the tin. What you want to do, you want to try to get rid of some of the seasoning from it, like the onion and stuff like that. Press it in the tin. Just like that freestyle. Looking nice and lovely guys, and trust me, the smells of it. I mean like the onion, the thyme, the scotch bonnet, the pepper, not to mention the pimento guys, just give it that nice aroma. You know what I mean? The jerk season, everything just blend together and it just gives you a whole vibe, a whole island vibe. So, guys, just stay tuned and watch the progress as I do my oven jerk pork. Yeah, so you don't have to really have a jerk, um, have a jerk pan outside to jerk per se. I mean, if you're there warm like um, you know, in the US, sometimes the weather is is not so good for you to go outside and do the jerk. So, you know, what I mean? you have to use your anamic fashion. So, I'm inside and I'm about to use my oven to do my jerk work. So, freestyle my rice and pieces now completed. As you can see guys, my rice is looking nice and chilly guys. I don't do wet rice. There you go. Stay tuned. Yes, freestyle. It's now time to check out the pork guys. It's coming along nice and lovely. I will now go ahead and turn them. You can see freestyle. Nice and juicy. As for me guys, I like when my pork is nice and crispy. Yes, freestyle, so as you can see, my jerk pork is almost completed. I'm gonna give it probably like about five more minutes, then it should be completed guys. Looking nice and lovely. As you can see for yourself guys, you can smell the seasoning, the jerk seasoning. Everything just have a vibe guys, everything just well set and it just give that island vibe that island taste so just stay tuned guys we we'll soon come back looking nice and lovely as you can see for yourself we we'll give you a close-up on it guys it doesn't get any better than this i'm telling you guys even though it's oven jerk trust me it's same as the one that you will get on the outside guys nice and delicious you know you know once a freestyle guys you know it's different so just so stick and stay guys, soon come. Yes, freestyle, this is what I'm talking about. This is my jerk pork right here. Over here I have some rice and peas. And over here I have some nice barbecue gravy to go with it guys. It doesn't get any better than this. As you can see for yourself, looking nice and lovely. And you can see for yourself guys, the pork is nice and tender, you see that? It's not too soft, it's not too tough, it's just right. I'm now gonna go ahead and take a taste of it guys. Guys, I must tell you guys, this is so so delicious guys. I mean you could taste the jerk seasoning, I mean the scotch bonnet, pepper, the skelly and the thyme, you know what I mean? Not to mention the pimento, you know you can't do jerk without pimento guys, so it is now ready. All about the jerk pork and the rice and peas. I got some veg on the side right there, some avocado. Looking nice and lovely guys, as always guys, thanks for watching, remember to like, share and comment, if you haven't yet subscribed as yet, hit the subscription button and join the movement, until next time guys, 
catch you in the next one freestyle way